Hi, this is Lyric from Old People Are Gaming Gamers 2 from BBJ Gaming on YouTube. And this is part two of our tutorial on how to play uh, Minecraft. And when I last left you, it had just become nighttime. We built a cabin and a furnace. We made charcoal. As you can see, the sky is starting to lighten up here. There's a spider. These spiders can be uh, very handy. Uh, they drop string that you can make multiple things from uh, fishing poles and and uh, looking to see oh here comes the sun we're facing the east and you can make uh, bows 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 and arrows out of them and uh, those can come in handy later on and look what I see is sheep I need three of these later on in the game uh, when you get some iron, you can uh, just shear the sheep and you'll get like multiple uh, things of uh, wool off of them. But when you kill them like I just did, you only get one. For the bed, so that we don't have to skip night times anymore, I need three sheep and there were two. Later on, you pin your animals up and you see there's a monster burning up in the sunlight. As it comes up this morning nice and there's a chicken they lay eggs for you and you can bake things with those um, we need to get a lot more wood today and uh, maybe go over and start us a mine or see if we can find one uh, so we're gonna start with the trees let's go up here on the hill and I made us some stone, stone ones. So I'm going to put those here so that when the wooden ones wear out. Uh, you need to be very careful about um, running around and losing sight of where you are. And uh, because if you can't find your way back and you're lost, you have to kill yourself to come back to the spawn point. Uh, where you started so now if you don't like where you started that's different you notice that I uh, was using an empty space to knock these uh, leaves away from the tree they make your um, tools really dull and will break them it's actually better to just do it with your hands all right so let's get us some trees here We need to make sure we have plenty of wooden reserve, especially so we can make more charcoal if we can't find actual coal. Oops. See, that's it on those. Now, technically, these trees, uh, the tree leaves should disappear if you get the entire trunk. They kind of disappear in weird ways, so they look odd. My husband can't stand that, so I'll do this and see, I'll leave the tree like that and he'll go out and uh, put some blocks on the ground so that he can reach all the way up there and uh, get those. I left some wood behind there. By the way, those flowers, you can transplant those into your yard to make it really pretty. Uh, and some of those flowers, including those that you just saw there, you can... Um, make dye out of those you can get wool and make rugs okay there went one of my axes there okay I always want to stay within sight of that cabin I don't want to make too many twists and turns but I see two really tall trees here I don't think I've ever seen trees this tall in this game I'll get these two and then we'll go look and see if we can find a third sheep and uh, see if we can find a place to start mining because we're going to need iron and coal. You can make armor out of animal skins if you want to run around and kill them. Uh, the cows, you can make leather armor. But the best armor uh, is made out of diamonds, which those are hard to find. And you need them for other things. So 
the best really is iron. It also makes the best tools. And when you get farther down into the mines and you run into things like diamonds and redstone and lapis lazulis, you need iron picks because if you use any other kind of pick, you won't pick them up. So let's see, I thought I might have seen, okay, there's the cabin right there. Wait, is that a sheep? Oh, let that be a sheep. Let that be a sheep. Come on. Yes. There we go. Alright, we're going to run in here real quick and we're going to make a bed. Okay, we now have three. It doesn't matter that they're different colors. Alright, we're going to take three pieces of wood and layer three pieces of wool on top and there's a bed and we're going to put that bed over here in the corner you need to put it two spaces away from the way you want it to to lay all right and you can only get in that and sleep at night and then I'm gonna oh yeah let me show you the bigger box while I've got a chance here all right I'm gonna leave those there now we're going to make another box. Okay, and I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to set that box right there. There you go. And you can see it just made one huge box. I'm going to leave those there for uh, burning if I need to later. This raw mutton, I can cook that in the oven. In fact, I think I will. And um, that will... Uh, that will give me food to eat eventually as you get busier and busier um, you'll start losing food out of this right hand column here and if it gets all the way down you die and so you've got to eat every so often and um, let's go this way There's some monster, dead monster meat there. Um, anyway, so it's good to carry food on you. Okay, that's not an actual mine. Sometimes you see holes in the ground and holes in the walls, but you can always just make your own. So let's do that. Let's start here. And um, I need to change to pickaxes here. And um, probably going to need at least one shovel. All right. Here we go. And let's start. The way that I usually make my uh, mines is I take out one block over my head, the one in front of me. The one right there at my feet. And then once I get in a little ways, we're not in far. Well, we're kind of in far enough. I'll go down one. And that starts making stairs for me. The farther down you go, the better stuff you're supposed to find. It goes all the way down to... I can't remember what level it is. It's it's there's a lot of levels. You get down to a bedrock layer and you can't break through those rocks as far down as you can go. A lot of times there's lava down there and that's where you're going to find down in those bottom levels. You're going to find the diamonds, the lapis lazuli, the emeralds and um, gold. On these upper levels, you can find iron and coal. And uh, that's really important for cooking in your stoves, for uh, furnaces, for um, making torches. You need lots of torches. In fact, it's starting to get dark where I'm at now. And dark, uh, 
that tends to spawn the monsters so I'm gonna put one up here there you go and we're gonna keep going now this stuff up there that is um, that's a gravel and it will fall on your head you got to be careful about walking underneath that uh, if it falls on you you start to, to suffocate and you have to try to dig yourself out of it you can do it uh, get rid of it with pickaxes but it makes them dull and it just chews them up so it's better to have shovels on you and unfortunately it looks like this mine I'm building here is going to have a whole bunch of this so you're going to look up and make sure that you don't have a lot I have a game I'm playing right now where uh, I was, I'm in a mine and there's a lot of gravel and it collapsed under my feet and I fell down into a deep cavern and didn't think I was ever going to get out of it you have different kinds of rock you can use here too this is granite the redstone there and it just makes you can polish it and it makes the prettiest building material you can build pretty houses out of it I've built barns out of it let me get this gravel here I do not want this stuff falling on my head I've actually found gravel to be pretty useless I don't know I, n I probably should look it up but I haven't been able to find any big use for it I want to continue using this uh, wooden pickaxe till it breaks all right Now if you turn around and look back, you can see we've got a bunch of stairs going up there. Okay. And this, you can see the little lines under the tools too. This wooden pickaxe has a little tiny bit of red on it, which means it is just almost gone. There it goes. So now I'm on my stone ones. Notice how much faster they are. Oh, and we have gotten lucky here. This is iron. And now we're going to have to check next to it. Okay. There you go. And see how much more there is around it. And there it is under there. So we're going to clear this out here. To make it easier to get to. All right, I'm gonna put up another torch because it's kind of dark in here, and we're gonna get this iron out of here. This will be very helpful. Hopefully, oh, looks like there's not gonna be a whole lot. Make sure that's all there was. Okay, now look what I've done. I can't get up that's too high I'm down in a hole this is why it's good to have the cobblestone with you okay I can build that back up where it needs to go get back up here okay there we go and I'm right back on track again There we go. All right. Now that's probably enough. I have a bad feeling. Uh oh. It's nighttime. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. We are now going to be running in the nighttime to the cabin. Run, 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 run. Okay. Okay. We got a zombie coming here. Most of these. Just start swinging is hit your left mouse button as soon as you can. There you go. You run through these weeds and you hit them, you have a chance to find some seeds 
to grow some wheat maybe later on. So I always hit those as I run. Okay, I'm going to take, light this up out here a little bit. Um, <clears throat> we really need to get up on the roof and light it. Oops. Uh-oh. Now there's another kind, there's, there's two kinds of these that just scare the snot out of me. One of them is a little green thing, which we haven't seen one of those yet. And it's called a, <clears throat> um, can't remember what they're called. Anyway. Oh, there's been one. Look what happened. Okay. One blew up my house. Okay. These little dudes, they come in and, um, uh, I'm having performance anxiety because I can't remember what they're called for some reason. Creepers. And these creepers will run up to you and blow you up. By the way, these little bright dots out here are experience points. You can see the number here in, in the over my bar. I'm a level two right now. And uh, anyway, obviously he came over here and blew up my cabin. And that was not nice at all. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is hopefully not get hit. Now the other kind of uh, these that scare me really badly are... Um, the archers archers can shoot you from quite a distance and if you get to them you can take them out um it's not that hard but um i'm sorry i'm trying not to make you motion sick but i need more i don't have any dirt crap okay um let's see I don't want to put, I want dirt because I want grass to grow back here. So I'm going to get my shovel and get some dirt here. Well, this is a little more excitement than I wanted in a tutorial. All right, let's go try to cover this up. You don't really have to fill the whole hole if you're not planning on digging there. You can just highlight up toward the top and fill it in from there. There we go. And now, oh, do I have enough wood? I don't think I have enough wood to fill this up. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Oh, jeez. I'm going to put this in front of my door. Oh, if I do that, though, we can't go to sleep. Oh. Welcome to the Thunderdome, people. Okay, that's rotten f flesh off the zombies. It does have a usage later on. You can feed certain types of animals uh, with it. That's flint. You can use that to make fires and stuff later. Um, these are seeds that we can plant later. Gravel. And, oh, it cooked four of my mutton. But not the other one. I can't cook my iron. Because I don't have any more trees. And I'm going to have to kill him. Oh, do I have, I have cobblestone, hang on. I can make a better, um, better sword here. Okay, the difference, that's a plus five attack, that's a plus four. It also lasts a lot longer. Okay, so first I have to... Now, if we were on hard, the monsters can kick the doors in. I don't think they can on this level. By the way, you right-click to get the uh, doors to open and close. Let's go try to sleep. Yay! Okay. Awesome. Okay, well, that was more fun than it needed to be. It is morning. 
you'll notice uh, we have a monster here who's <laughs> jumping up and down. He's in water. And uh, that, oh, dang. That would have made a good place to go mining, but it's full of water. Here comes one burning at us. They will set me on fire. That does hurt. Okay, there he goes. Sometimes the ones that have armor on, like that one there, they'll drop a helm. Oh, here's one of those archers I was telling you about. Now, once I get to him, I can kill him, but he can do a lot of damage. That's one of the reasons we want to make armor, and we need a lot of iron to do that. I want you to die. I don't want you near my house. Die. Come on over. Now, you notice I picked up a couple of arrows off that archer. If you look in my number eight slot there, look at all that iron down there. That's iron, isn't it? Where's this water coming from? We can actually stop it. Maybe I... I had to get that out of there. You can actually go underwater as long as you can make sure you can get out. Let's do that first. Hi, pig. Okay, let's go get this iron. Watch the bubbles over my food. And it takes longer, by the way, because we're underwater. Um, I have to get up above. I start taking damage. So I'll need to go up and get air. Just push your... Uh, you can just push your uh, uh, space bar and go up. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Now, I made some steps here so I can get out. Alright. What is this? Same. Dang it. They're all full of water. All right. I need to get some wood so we can start a fire. So we're going to have to go up here and do some cutting. Slot two. sure I get all those. Ooh. This is like almost like a oh make sure you get all your wood. It's almost like a I don't know one of those big redwood forests out in California. Really tall trees here. Okay. So we're going to go in the cabin here. I hate it when it rains. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to make somebody sick. I'm sorry. Oh, we didn't finish our roof. Okay. Um, so we're going to take this wood and put it in here. And put the iron ore in here. So that can bake. We are going to... I put all the wood in there, didn't I? Thank you. Okay, I'm going to get us just a few pieces here. Alright, and you remember how to do this. We need to make ceiling pieces. I don't think we need more than two, whoops, two sets of that. That'll be okay. There we go. And we're going to put those arrows away for later. And... Um, you can use arrows to shoot at those uh, creepers that like blew up my house. I have been killed by those more than by anything else in the game. It is not fun. They, uh, you have to run back from the spawn point or from where you, now that we've slept here, it'll be from here in the cabin. And, um, 
you have to run back and uh, get your stuff if you can get to where you died. And, um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep a couple of pieces of that on me and keep the rest here. I'll cook that later. Let's see how our iron's doing. Okay. We have all nine pieces of it. And the first thing we're going to make is a sword. Because now we're going from a five to six. And that's important. Especially if they're wearing armor. And I'm going to make myself a piece of armor. Five, six, seven, eight. I needed eight pieces to get the uh, chest gear. But I can make a helmet. So I'm going to do that. Now you hit the E button. And put it on your little head. And now I've got some defense from when I get hit. Alright. And the... Uh, when we get more iron, we'll finish doing that, and then we'll start making tools out of it. And, uh, that will be good. Now, because, unfortunately, it is raining, it's almost impossible to see where the sun is. I'm going to use this cobblestone to do one last thing to protect our house. And I need to get on the roof. Because these things get on the roof. And, whoops. They get on the roof and they, sp they spawn up here. If it's too dark. So we're going to put some torches up here. I don't have a whole lot. Need more wood for that. Make some more charcoal. I'm thinking that should do it. That should keep them off. Okay. Take these back here. Later on in the game, we can decide if this is where we want to live. But we'll explore a little bit and see if there's someplace else we like better. And if we do like it here, then we'll probably just come down here and build our house here and keep that as a little work shed. It's not a bad area, but I'm not seeing any mines. And that could be a problem. Um, and you don't want to have to work too, walk too far. And this is the one that was full of water again, I think. Look how deep that goes, though. We can make buckets out of iron, and I'm not sure, though, if you can get all the water out of there. If I saw where it was coming in at, I could try to clog it up, but... And you also notice this is all gravel. So this is really dangerous. Oh, that was no help. That would all collapse under us, and that's not good. Okay, so we finished part two. We've dug a bit of a mine. I think I will show you real quickly how to uh, make stairs. That, that'll make it easier for us to get up and down in the mine. And it's really simple. You just basically build stairs. They look like this. You get four for each one, and um, we'll use those in the mine the next time. But I have no idea what time of day it is, so I'm going to hang out here so that you don't have to. Thank you for coming. I really, really appreciate the, if you would like our videos, if you enjoy them, and uh, leave us a comment. Please be kind. Life is hard. We don't need people to make me cry. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, tutorial three should be up very soon. Thank you.